Yo, what's going on people? I am back with another video and today I am I'm sort of in my my um my horror phase in a minute. Well, in terms of games I'm playing. This is a psychological horror game. So um it's going to be very interesting because I'm going to be feeling very psychological. But yeah, you these guys are imaginary friends. And they, they are looking pretty spooky, so I don't know if they're going to be evil or something. This is uh, probably going to be a longer video, so I might split up into two parts, but oh well, we'll see. And without further ado, let's get into it. I'm so excited to play. Oh wow, starting off strong. Okay, so this is... um. This the, Apparently this has like abuse or something, so watch out guys. If you're sensitive to abuse then d don't watch this video I'm burning oh no am I burning? who's burning? my head is on fire was that a little girl? little girl's on fire mother father I'm sorry damn what? did she just kill her parents? January 17th, 1949, 8am. Okay, okay. Halfmore Asylum. Who's that little guy down there? <laughs> Who's that little guy? Yeah, so we're at the asylum. Is it? Is this us? We are, we, is this our first day? Anthony Rivers. Is that, I'm guessing that's us. Who's that? Why is she shadowy? Nurse, Anthony Rivers. Okay, um, yes, I'm here to check in. You brought some belongings, I see. You won't be needing these anymore. What do you mean? All you need is in the asylum. I'll be throwing this garbage away. Hey, how dare you disrespect me? Follow me this instant unless you wish to be punished before stepping... What did I do? What did I do? Okay. God damn! What if I went to explore? Uh, okay. This area looks pretty cool. I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, so I can't like... I can't go anywhere. I have to follow her. Interact! I said get inside now! Not yet. You're really testing my patience, kid. <laughs> yeah! Um, why is it giving me the option? Can I just like explore? Is it going to say the same thing? I want to go in here. I don't want to get in trouble. Come on, man! You gave me the option to go in or to to go in or not to go in. That is the question. Here we go. Okay. Damn it! There's lots of them. Oh boy! You are hereby admitted to Halfmore Asylum. You are not to leave the premises under any circumstances. You are expected to to respect the staff. If you can't follow these rules, you'll face severe consequences. Understood? Yes, ma'am. You'll be sharing a room with other children. Myself and the other staff are very busy, but I trust you can find it yourself. You'll fit nicely in room 6 in the male ward, and don't forget to pick up a hospital gown in there. In the male ward? Oh, I, so I, I'm guessing we're separated then. With the others? Me and the broski is going to be hanging out in the ward 6. Is this ward 6? Lunchroom? Not in there. Enter! Is this the right way? Bathroom. Ward 6. Hey, let's go in. Ah, there's no one in here. Um, what? <laughs> um, uh, what? Why is there a little, little knifey down there? What is that? Is that a crotch? No, surely not, right? Alright, is this, uh, where's my bed? Which one's mine? Pick up. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, is this my bed? Do I make my bed? I hear so much talking. There's, like, nobody in here. I don't, don't understand. Oh, look at all these pills, man. This kid's been taking pills for days. Uh, we've got a clock on here. Oh, so it's like religious in here, I guess. Uh, uh, hello. 
Oh, hello, you're the new kid, huh? What's your name? Nice to meet you, I'm Anthony Rivers. Anthony, huh? I'm Niccolo. I've been here longer than anybody, so if you have any questions, come to me anytime. Niccolo, what name? Um, Who's that standing next to you? I really want to find that one out. Wait, you can see him too? Yes, why? That's Polo, my imaginary friend. Not many of us can see him, he's the only one I've been able to rely on here. Um, nice to meet you, Polo. I appreciate the sentiment. Anything else you'd like to know? How long have you been here? I've been here since I was three. How old are you now, bro? I expect I'll be doomed to live in nut houses my whole life. Everyone thinks I'm a lunatic. Mate, look what's standing next to you, man. You might be a lunatic, I don't know. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. Oh, I, I, I don't think you will. Uh, I'll say it anyway. In any case, if you're able to see Polo, you'll likely see other strange things around here too. Like what? The ghost of the asylum. Rumour has it that he's the imaginary friend of the asylum itself. Well, that sounds scary. Probably a good idea to stay clear of him if you can. Thanks for the heads up. Well, regardless, you should finish getting ready. It'll be 9am soon. That's when our routine starts. Okay, I guess our routine is going to start. Um, hey, can I talk to Polo? Look, the noose is here. Utter disgrace. Oh, that's odd. <laughs> I'm going to be creating voices for these guys. <laughs> I'm not going to remember them. I agree. It's a pleasure to meet another individual of sophisticated taste. God damn. I don't know if I can keep doing this. Hey, did you see your schedule yet? What schedule? I guess they didn't tell you. <laughs> they probably put a file by your bed. It should say what they expect from you here. I'll go check, yeah. Where's my file? Is that my file? Oh god, here we go, law time. Anthony Rivers, I'm 8 years of age. Pretty epic. Diagnosis schizophrenia. Oh boy, no, no shit. Um, a dull and sullen child, his eyes are vacant and he often stares at nothing for long periods of time. Parents reported that he had a friend who passed away and behavioural issues and fits ensued thereafter. He had a friend who passed away. The patient attempted suicide while still living at home and must be kept under close watch. Prescribed treatment by Dr. Arfig. Insulin coma therapy once a day or times per week plus pills to be administered with a meal once per day. Okay, so we have to take pills every day. Um, breakfast, chores, treatment, lunch, free time, lessons, supper. Okay, I won't get into that too much. Um, oh? Oh, is it 9am? It is, yeah. Hey, the schedule begins now. This is your first day, so I'll give you my advice. Okay, don't dawdle. Listen to everything the staff says. For God's sake, try to avoid attention. What do you have to say about that, Polo? Buena fortuna, amigo mio! Nice, mate. Epic. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Oh, what the hell? There you are, you're late. Do you think this whole place revolves around you? You're lucky I'm not putting you in the punishment cell for this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The other nurses are waiting in the operating room upstairs to give you your treatment. Now go already. Damn, man. I'm about to go get my treatment. Hell is here. Alright, they're upstairs. Let's-a go. Why is it so, like, ominous? Where, where are they exactly? Where? Bathroom. Nah, it's just the bathroom. Punishment cell. PUNISHMENT CELL! Oh no. I don't like the sound of that. Um. Damn, the ambience is crazy. Enter. Is this the room? Oh, hello. Hey. Hey, how's it going? What's going on in here? What's up, bro? Hurry up, kid! Let's get this over with already! Okay. Anthony Rivers, right? That's me! Good. Let's begin your treatment. Oh? 
Oh, oh god. Uh, oh. Give me your arm. Oh no. Sleep tight. Sleep tight? What? Huh? You hear muffled voice voices. So what do you think about him? He's perfect. He's just what I've been wanting. You can't hear anymore and pass out. What do you mean? That's what you've been wanting. What am I? Am I special? Am I the chosen one? Please say I'm the chosen one, man. I see you're awake. Tell me, Anthony, are you feeling calm? I'm feeling great, thank you. No, but I think I need to lie. I have a bad feeling. Um... Calmer than I've ever felt. Excellent. That will be all for you today. It's almost lunchtime. Don't be late for lunch unless you want to miss it. Oh! Oh! Okay. Bye. Bye, guys. I have free time now. I miss mum and dad. I want to write them a letter. Yeah, I want to write them a letter. How do I write them a letter? Do I... Oh, do I go down to the lunchroom? I don't get it. Oh, damn. Whereabouts is the lunchroom? I forgot. Perform procedures. That's interesting. I'm going to have to learn, like, the little layout of this place. This was the lunchroom, right? We're on the bottom floor. Oh, I'm not going to the lunchroom. Where, Where am I going? Am I going back to my room? I guess so, right? Over here, to our ward. What's up, guys? What's up? It's hard being this dashing. You relate, no? Hey, how was your treatment? They stuck a huge needle on me and I fell asleep. Sounds like insulin therapy. I know a kid who had that done before. What do you mean, new? No? Oh god, did he die? Well, it's time for lunch. Dude, you can't just like, you can't just skip over that. This is our only other three free time other than before bed. Feel free to do whatever. I'm going to write a letter to my parents. You still trust your parents after... Never mind. What, like after sending me here? Did I, was I sent here by my parents? Or did I just like, I just like, did I want to come here? I don't think I wanted to come here, right? I need to find, okay. Was it a pen, piece of paper, whatever, envelope? Sure, man. T time remaining? T what? What? Time remaining? What do you mean? What do you mean time remaining? Oh. Oh, oh, to get the stuff. What? Okay, 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 okay. I have a, I have a pen, I have a pencil, I have a pencil, ooh, I have a note, I have a piece of paper to write on. Those weren't there earlier, man. And then, and then, and then an envelope. Damn, that was easy. That's everything. I should go back to my room to write the letter. Hell yeah, I'm gonna do that. Sounds good to me. Well, I wonder what I'm gonna write to my parents after they send me here. Uh, where should I write it? Should I just like have a little sit down? Yeah, I'll just have a little sit down and write it. January 17th, 1949. Dear Mum and Dad, I made new friends today. Their names are Niccolo and Polo. They've lived here since they were three years old. They're both pretty nice. We're roommates now. The nurses are really mean. Today they gave me a big shot and it made me fall asleep. They're going to do this to me six days per week. Six days of the seven days? Wow, I hope the treatment goes well so we can be together soon. I love Anthony. What happened to our parents, man? What's going on with that? Like, what happened? Where are they now? It's 12pm, I should head to the lunchroom. Yeah, there goes Niccolo and Polo. They've already gone to the lunchroom. Uh, what was it, just out here? Hell yeah, a lunchroom. Hey, 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 what's up guys? I should sit with Niccolo and Polo. Who's this guy? Okay, I'm sitting down. What's up, man? Oh, okay, hello, hello. Mr. Rivers, you're due to take your pills now. 
I, what if I said I refuse? What if? Okay, I'll take them. I can't do that because they will actually, they will actually like stab me to death or something. I'm supposed to make sure you take them, and I don't feel like standing here all day, so get to it. I hate you. I hate you. Why do you look like that? I don't even know what you guys look like. I can kind of tell what you look like. You look stupid. Let's take him. Oh, I'm taking the pills, taking the pills. Epic. I, I did it. Good. And before I go, make sure you eat every last bite of that food. Wasting food is not allowed here. Okay, eat slop. I don't want to eat the slop, man. Oh, I'm eating the slop. Oh. Oh, I, I did it. Since you took so long, lunchtime is almost over now. You better be back in your room before then. Yeah, 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 walk away. Hey, you're new here, aren't you? Yes, I just arrived today. I thought so. I'm Edward, and behind me is my little brother Tommy. He can't talk though, what's your name? Um, nice to meet you both, my name's Anthony. We heard from Niccolo that you'll be rooming with us. It's nice to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> we're such a little sensible child, what the hell. By the way, you don't see anything, do you? I am... Um, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Niccolo mentioned you could see his imaginary friends. Prove it, what do ours look like? They both have crazy masks on. We can hear you, you know. I'm Christy. I can't even do the voice. I feel like I sound sh so stupid, man. My name's Smudge. <laughs> my name. <laughs> Hello, it's nice to meet you guys. Well, lunch is almost over. We'll be going now. Catch you in the room later, sucker. <laughs> God. I have free time until 2.30, maybe I can find a book to read. Yeah, I, I would just love to find a book to read, that sounds sounds like the greatest use of my time. I'm guessing the, the book would be up here? Like, wait, no. No, because my dorm is downstairs, what am I thinking? Or my ward, or whatever. Down here, right? Oh, uh, you guys got any books? Oh, what's up, gang? How's it going? How's it going? What's up, Twisty? Hey, again. Um, tell me something about yourself. Smudge and I are brothers. Oh, I could definitely tell. Eh, uh, liar. Liar. What do you have to say? Hi, you friend. Hello. Tell me you're super happy, your new friend is alive! Same here, man. Maybe we can open your pizza to your name! It's okay if you don't want to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. He's, he's a bit out there, don't you? He's a bit, um... He's very confident. Polo, you got a book for me to read? Hello again, my old friend. Hey, Polo. I wish to be free from this place. I am like a beautiful butterfly trapped inside my cocoon here. What does that mean? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I read it in a book somewhere. I mean, I, I read it in a book somewhere and it just spoke to me. In a book? A book, you say? Where might this book be, Polo? Hey, what's up? Uh, no, that's just not how he sounds. I keep on messing it up, man. I'm looking for a book to read. There's one next to my bed if you want to try it. It's not very good, though. I think so, I'll check it out. Next to your bed. Where? This is your bed, isn't it? Is that, is that not your bed? Oh wait, I can examine his stuff. Patient is apathetic and disinterested in participating in society. He has fits of severe depression and sometimes refuses to speak. Patient has mutilated his own person on numerous occasions. His behavioural issues and unruly attitude have led the doctors to believe he is likely to be permanently insane. Wow. This is a... Poor kid. He was here since he was three as well. Restrained isolation for a minimum of two hours every day. 
So he just has to be by himself for two hours every day? Damn, poor Niccolo, man. Who's this kid? Tommy. Hi, Tommy. He smiles at me. I don't have to do a voice for him. I'm so happy. I'm very glad. <laughs> How do I get to this book? Thank you. You guys could have gotten out of the way, though. And so my days at Half More Children's Asylum began. I read books to help the miserable time pass by. And I sent my parents letters often. I never got any letters back. To this day, I don't know if they ignored my letters or if the nurses withheld personal mail from patients. Neither situation would surprise me in the least. Anthony Rivers. Damn, bro, this is kind of deep. <laughs> this is, this is. I, I can't make too many jokes, man. This is kind of sad. February twenty-four. It's been a month. I wonder what we'll have for breakfast today. Probably the most dismal sludge that they serve most days. Why is he like French? I'd go for some sausage and eggs. I miss what mom used to make. Ha <laughs> ha. I bet mom is making breakfast and dad is reading the newspaper right now. I wonder if they even miss me. I should head to the bathroom to get ready for the day. Here I go. To the bathroom, I guess. The bathroom's here. Hello, bathroom. Damn. This is a small bathroom. What's up? What's good, homie? Ah, oh. ah. Oh. oh no, I'm crying. Cut my hair. Oh wow. The things that these kids go through. This is based on kind of a true story, but it's more like it's describing what it was like in such a time. Obviously, there's no, like, Ghost of the Asylum or whatever. I don't believe that shit, but... <laughs> I don't know. It's just, like, it's kind of sad, because this probably happened at some point. Another day, time to go. Here we go. Back to the ward. Oh, everyone's gone. Everyone probably went to the lunchroom. I should make my bed first, or the nurses will scold me. Yeah, let's make my bed. Let's do it. There we are. Nice and tidy. Oh! What was that? What was that? <laughs> what was... <laughs> it was a plague doctor. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that the ghost of the asylum? He's a plague doctor? I have to go to the lunchroom. I have to... Not here. This is not a good place to be, man. Guys! Guys, I just saw the craziest shit! I just... Guys, guys, listen. Hey, are you alright? You look really anxious all of a sudden. Someone was watching me outside our room. Wait, really? It wasn't just an annoying nurse? I don't... I don't know what it was. Uh, definitely not, because I know what it was. I, uh, my eyes saw clearly. I wonder if it could have been the ghost of the asylum. Have you seen him before? I've woken up in the middle of the night with him hovering over me. Oh my god, this guy's seen him too. Everyone's seen him. He sounds like bad news. Yeah. I've heard rumors he'll kill you if you upset him, but he's just a ghost, so what can he really do? Um, I... Well, in horror games, man, ghosts can do quite a bit, so, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm pretty scared of him. Regardless, there's not much we can do since the nurses here don't care, so let's just focus on breakfast for now. Alright, I guess I'll uh, eat my slop, bro. Yummy scrummy. I love it. You hear the nurses... Why am I speaking like that, man? You hear the nurses whispering about something. What are they whispering about? I wonder what they're saying behind our backs this time. 
Looks like you brats will meet another kid soon. Oh, we got a new guy coming in? Ah, but the way they talk to us makes me so mad. I want to go over there and pull that stupid hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't agree with you more. The hair is hideous. Wonder who the new kid will be. <laughs> I feel sorry when whenever someone else joins us. You kids, finish up. Chore start soon. Evil man, you're evil. He's up. These are your chores for the morning. You must complete them before your treatments begin. Cabin, what? <laughs> uh, sorry, guys, I'm fumbling my words. Uh, hold on. View chore list. Pick up garbage in the yard and clean the front porch. I expect you to work as a team to complete these tasks. As you are all well aware, cleanliness is a virtue. As such, your ability to clean properly is a critical part of your overall wellness exam. If you continue to do your jobs well, it's a sign that your mental defects are being treated. Oh my god, does that mean we get to leave? However slowly that may be. Well enough talk now. If you want any chance of returning to whatever homes you have, you better get busy and do a thorough job. Ooh, oh, I'm spooky. Don't forget that we're always keeping an eye on you slubby brats. <laughs> I fucking love this. <laughs> I need to put garbage in the cat in the trash can on the porch. Yeah, let's pick up some of this. Stick it on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I pick up multiple? No. Cigarettes? Why are there cigarettes on the floor? What the nurse has been smoking, man? That doesn't seem like... Clean. Also, why is there so much trash on the floor? What's been going on? The ghost of the asylum has been smoking cigarettes on the front porch. What's going on? What even is that? A broken... A broken plate? How has that happened? Um. Oh. oh, what's up, guys? How's it going? You guys just cleaning up over here? Okay, I'll, I'll let you do your thing. I'll let you do your thing. I seem to be doing most of the work, though. I mean, you guys are kind of just like what digging dirt. I don't know. More cigarettes, man. Oh, and this guy's over here. They're also doing it. That's pretty cool. Uh, and these guys, I see the. I see you. I see you guys over here. You guys, ooh, I don't want to get in trouble. Damn, I'm going I'm to go back down there later, though, I'll tell you what. Alright, this is, uh, I need one more after this. Nah, it's got to be over here by these guys, I mean, they... Right? Yeah, okay, okay. All good, all good. There we go, that's my chores done. Oh, I have to, okay, I need to clean up the dirty spots on the porch. There we go. There we go, nice and nice and clear. Oh my god! Oh my god, hello! Hey, are you Anthony with us? Yes, why? I just wanted to warn you because something really scary is going on here. What are you talking about? I can't do that voice, I'm sorry, guys. I hear someone coming. I'll explain everything later. Oh boy! Zoink scoop. Okay, all right. Um, that was that was a that guy is pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie, that big old dude. Oh, oh, what's going on there? Yo, 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 yo. What are you doing? We doing walking around my holes, huh? Ew! What the hell? I <laughs> I did not know he had that on the back of his head, man. Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey! One more, one more, one more. Where is it? Hey! Easy! Oh, there's a nurse. What's up? What are you looking at? Oh, she's checking out to see if we've done a good job. I think we have. Spotless, I know. I know, spotless. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to tell me. It could be better, but I suppose I certainly can't expect perfection from the likes of you for... Oi, you, 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 you slag. Alright. 
Miss, Mr. Bennett, we've noticed that you've improved somewhat since your stay here. Keep it up and you'll be able to go home. Oh, big up Mr. Bennett, man. Which one of you are you talking to? Oh, please, obviously I meant the functional one out of you two. That little monster can't even speak. He'll never leave. Ah, oh, poor guy. You don't even understand what I'm saying, do you? Begins crying. Oh, he's, he's gonna be mad. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! You! Follow me to the punishment cell now! And how dare you throw this disgusting dirt water all over me! Serves you right! You're coming with me right this second! You disgraceful brats! I'll make sure you never see your homes again! Oh my god, pick up my guy, Edward! I can't believe he did that, Tommy. You're lucky to have an older brother like him. What do you mean? She had it coming. Yeah, she did. I hope it got into her mouth. But now, Edward's exam scores will be set back. He did that just so he wouldn't be forced to leave Tommy alone. It's okay, Tommy. Edward would rather stay with you than leave you all alone. I know it's bad we're all stuck here, but at least we all have each other, right? Ah, oh, come on, Edward. He's gonna get he's gonna get punished. It's 9 a.m. I need to go upstairs to get my treatment. Alright, it's treatment time. I'm going to get some treatment. I'm scared the nurse really will keep us here forever. Even though there's nothing wrong with us. Hey, we're seeing like spooky ghosts and shit. I don't know if there's nothing wrong with us. Oh, where was the treatment room? Over here. This was it, right? Surgery. This is, yeah, this is the right one. Yeah, I'm back. Put me to sleep. Good, you're here. Let's get started. Okay, lovely. Alright, you guys are gonna just... Yep, okay. Yep, thank you. Alright, alright. Thank you, thank you. But you can't tell what they're saying this time and pass out. Damn, they're talking about me, what can I say? I'm a big old celebrity around here. Rising from the dead, are we? How are we feeling today? How am I supposed to know if this does anything? I always feel so sick and groggy when I wake up after the shot. It sure does keep me calm. Lovely news indeed. Maybe you'll be leaving us soon after all. We'll miss having your cute little face around here when that happens. <laughs> Frogging mouth. No, no, I can't do that. I have to hide it, man. If I throw up in my mouth, they'd like inject another shot into me. Like, I can't do that. It's time for lunch now. Yay. Down, down to lunch we go. How, how's about it? I would love to eat right now. I'm feeling very hungry. Ah. Oh. Edward and Twisty are missing. Yeah. Oh, I'm, oh my god. Mr. Rivers, how nice to finally speak with you. Who are you? I'm Dr. Rupert Fick. I arrived here somewhat recently to conduct some research. You know me? Of course I know you, boy. Why, you're the very apple of Halfmore's eye as of late. Okay then, I didn't realise. Of course, of course. I hear your condition is quite the, shall I say, fascinating subject. I very much look forward to speaking with you in the near future. Until then, my boy. Um, okay, he wants to like conduct stuff on me, I'm guessing. I'd like to introduce myself as well. My name is Boris Frenzy, 
I usually serve as an assistant to the doctors here, so I know how rough they can be. Sometimes I think the staff forgets we're supposed to be helping children here, not imprisoning them. Yo, big up my guy Boris. He's got some base to world views. If the doctor or anyone else gives you trouble, you can come to me. I appreciate the offer. It was nice meeting you, Anthony. I hope to see you around. Hey, so Boris is a nice guy, man. We got someone on our side. Looks like you attracted the attention of one of the doctors. I'd watch out if I were you, Anthony. Um... He gave me the creeps. Strange things happen to those who are near the doctors here. I heard that sometimes the kids die, or they disappear, never to be seen again. It's true. Please be careful and try to lay low. We'll have to stay by your side so you don't have the chance of ending up alone with him. Well, thanks for looking out for me, guys. If you need to go somewhere, just let me know. I sl I'll stick by you. Yes, I will. I will definitely do that. Will do. Ah, yep, take my pills. Yummy, scrummy. Eating that slop. Oh my god, it's so yummy. Alright, okay, that's that. I have some free time. I'll head back to my room for now. Hey, back to the room we go. Oh my god, bro, you again. This is from Annabelle. He handed you a letter. How should I do his voice, man? What was that about? And who's Annabelle? I need to use the letter opener by my bed to read this. I'm guessing Annabelle's that one, the, was it the girl that was with him? Here we go! Hey, what's up gang? How's it going? Poor Edward still isn't here. Ah, uh, oh, letter opener. Dear Anthony Rivers, Meet me tonight in the shed outside the asylum. I would never risk us getting into this much trouble if it wasn't really important, so please be there. I'll see you there, just past 9pm. Be careful that you don't get caught. Annabelle Walker Why does Annabelle want to meet? Is she the one who warned me during those chores earlier? Uh, yeah, I think she is, right? Because of that big old red dude that oh, is really freaky and kind of scary. So... So what do we do now? Do we just sort of just like leave? Hey Anthony, what were you reading earlier? You seem nervous. Um, I got an odd letter from a girl named Annabelle. Annabelle, she's one of the patients at this asylum. She's been here for a long time too. We're not allowed to talk to the girls here. Make sure you don't do anything to get in trouble. Ah, uh, what you guys do? What do I? Uh, <laughs> How am I supposed to sleep with all your talking? It's almost time for lessons already. Wow. Okay, man. Come on, Polo. He needs his beauty sleep, man. Uh oh, Polo's right. Classes are starting now. Let's get to the classroom upstairs quick. Classroom. Okay. Hey, what's up, gang? Listen everyone, today's lesson will be on mathematics. I'll give you a series of questions and expect you to answer them quickly. We have a lot to cover and can't afford to fall behind schedule. We might begin we will begin today's lesson by testing your counting skills. I will draw a number of apples on the board and I want you to tell me how many Oh god, we're gonna Oh god, this is testing you man. If I get any of these wrong in the video, it's gonna look embarrassing man. Yes ma'am. Good luck, let's begin. Alright, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There is eleven. Correct. Yes. Okay. Next, we'll be focusing on geometry. Oh no! I will draw a shape on the board. And I want you to tell me the, the the name of that shape. Understood. Good. Let's begin. Uh, hexagon. Correct. Yes. Now it's time to take a look at some equations. I write an equation on the board and I want you to solve it and tell me the answer. Understand. Yes, ma'am. Oh, 4 plus 12, 16, minus 3, 13. Correct. Cool. I'm smart. I'm smarter than a 10 year old. Are you smarter than a 10 year old? We're now on to the last part of the lesson. 
I'm going to ask you to solve another equation. This one is so simple I won't even bother explaining it. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It's so easy there should be no reason to worry if you've been paying attention. Let's begin. Um, damn. Uh, 4i. I knew you brats wouldn't know the answer. Which one is it then? Which one is it? That concludes our lesson for the day. Dinner starts soon. I'm not about to miss it. So scram already. Cross it. Class is already dismissed. I'll see you tomorrow for our first lesson. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait, guys. This is going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy, guys. Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up, Nicolo? How's it going? She thinks we are so. She's so clever pulling out those trick questions. Doesn't it ever get old? Yeah, it sure is annoying. Anyway, it's almost time for dinner. We should head to the lunchroom. Yeah, what do, you, what do you have to say? Stomach grumbles. Good thing it's almost time for dinner. Nods, let's head downstairs for dinner. Smiles in agreement. Oh, poor little guy, man. Oh. He just doesn't know what to say. He's like me, for real. Here we go, lunchroom time. Was it the lunchroom? Is this where it's supposed to be? Oh. During dinner that night, all I can think of was if I should risk everything to talk to Annabelle. An impending sense of dread and anxiety coursed through me as Niccolo's advice played through my head over and over again. I would come to find out that very night that our lives would change forever. Anthony Rivers. Let's go meet Annabelle. February 21st, 1949, 8.30pm. She asked us to meet for 9. Time to meet Annabelle. I should bring the candle behind my bed. It's dark. Oh no, here, here it's time. It's time for the horror aspect, I bet. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Dude, I actually just flinched so hard, man. What are you doing? Everyone tried to warn you. I won't stop you, but I hope you know what you're doing. Oh my god, this game actually... Oh my... Ooh. She said to me in the shed outside, I need to be careful nobody sees me. Dude. These are supposed to be our imaginary friends, bro. Not imaginary spooky dudes, alright? This is... Huh? Oh, what the... F what? Can't let anyone see me. I'm going... Ooh, uh, hey! Oh! Damn, I think she got me. In the, the shed outside. Okay, I, I, I know where to go. Okay, I know, I know. I get it, I get it. I have to go this way. This way, right? And then outside. Okay. Anyone? Oh, there are people out here. Okay. Uh, I can probably go through... I can probably, like, go through this way, right? If I just did this. Is this right? Yeah, nobody's over here, right? Why is there an axe out here, man? Enter. Yo, what's up? Annabelle, Annabelle! Hi, Anthony. Are you... Uh, what, was it? what was my voice for again? I don't, I don't remember. Hi, Anthony. Thank you for meeting me out here. Are you Annabelle? Yes, I'm Annabelle. It's nice to officially meet you. Nice to meet you too. And this is my imaginary friend, Pookie. He's my best friend. Hello, Anthony. <laughs> Hi, Pookie. Pookie used to look so different, but when we moved here, he changed. He said he wanted to look more intimidating to protect me. Pookie's always looking out for me. Anyway, I'm sorry for asking you to meet me like this here instead of telling you everything in the letter. But I thought it would be important to meet and hear what you know about this situation as well. It's okay, what's up? Have you heard of the ghost of the asylum? I I think I saw it actually. <laughs> I think it was it give me it gave me a little spook. Um That's what I was afraid of. People say it's a ghost or imaginary friend, but nobody knows. I think it's dangerous. How do you know? I see it sometimes, especially at night. I will still, is it? 
I will see its eyes staring at me from outside the window. Isn't that what happened to me? It was like by my door, wasn't it? Was any nobody else was in the room at the time? I think. Were they? That's terrifying. It's really scary. I can barely handle it stalking me like this, and I'm more worried for you. Why? You're wo more worried for me? It was in my room last night, and I heard it talk for the first time. It said it had to visit its new favorite toy, and it whispered your name. What? Please be careful, Anthony. I never heard it speak before. I was horrified it was talking about a person here. He's stalking you, and if rumors about the ghost are true, you are in grave danger. I don't know if I can do that, man. I don't know if I can... <laughs> Pookie, I'm sorry, man. I don't know if I can do that. I'm really sorry to scare you. I hate you when saying this, but I know I'd want to be told if it were me. Thanks, I'm scared, but I appreciate it. Stay safe. I'm gonna look for info. If there's any way to keep ourselves safe or stop the ghost, I want to know how. We should leave, Annabelle. It's getting light. Pokey's right. Head back safely, Anthony. We'll go first so you can make a run for it if we get caught. Thank you, Annabelle. Uh, we got some allies over here, man. But they're all kids, just like me. They should head back to the door now. Okay. Uh, yeah, man. I'll, yeah, I'll just go. I'll go, man. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Hey, I'll just go this way. Where was the nurse? Is she like... Oh, she's there. Oh, boy. Damn, you can't see me down here? You're blind. You're blind as shit, bro. Come on, get some, get some better eyesight, bro. Get some better eyesight, shit. And she went that way, and then she went this way, and I went this way, and she went that way, and I went this way. And now I'm up, I'm up, I'm up this way. And I'm like, oh, oh, hello, hello, and oh, oh, what do, what do I do, what do I do, I'm going, I'm going, hello, I'm going back to my dorm, I'm going, oh, guys, I swear, I, I did not leave. What the devil are you doing out here? I told you to be careful. Sorry, Niccolo, but something's wrong. Wait, what's the matter? What are you two doing awake in this hour? Go back to sleep now. You two are in a world of trouble tomorrow. No. No. That night, Niccolo, Polo, and I returned to our room. Tommy and Smudge were already awake from the nurses yelling. I told them everything that Annabelle shared, and we stayed up late into the night discussing everything. Anthony Rivers. Damn, so a lot has been happening. We're being targeted by the ghost of the asylum, bro. Oh my god. Oh, it's daytime. I'm thankful for that. Hey, I'm sorry for being upset with you last night. Looks like I ended up getting us both in trouble. That's alright. I know you were just worried. Anyway, I guess we should get ready and face our punishment today. I wonder what today will bring. Big up Niccolo, man. Top G, honestly. Time to head to the bathroom to get ready. Hey, it's bathroom time. Let's go to the bathroom. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We gonna be crying this time? Oh, we're not crying this time. Comb hair. Hey, oh, I got my, my combed hair. Look at me all dripped out. Brush my teeth. Okay, okay. Good. Wash face. Okay, solid, good stuff, all done, now to head to breakfast. Pretty good, pretty good, let's go to breakfast. What's up, Yang? Oh, Edward, the poor Edward is still not back, man. Ew there, Mr. Rivers and Mr. Gallo, we don't believe you two deserve to eat breakfast. You're taking away breakfast privileges? What the hell? 
Ungrateful attitudes and misbehaving are not tolerated here. You both can start chores early and clean up the main bathroom by yourselves today. <sighs> you know, you have to reply to get by, man. Yes, ma'am. What are you waiting around for? You best get started quickly. I expect it to be spotless if you don't if you want to earn lunch. Oh, so we don't get lunch if we don't get spotless? Maybe we should take a page out of Edward's book and throw dirty words in on them too. Ugh, the bathroom. Sorry, but I won't be helping you this time. Fine, I'll meet you there, Anthony. Okay, to the bathroom, I guess. Nicola is probably there. And it's upstairs. I see, I see. Where is it? What, like over here? Is this it? Punishment, so... Oh, that's what... Is that where they've put Edward? It's just the right way. It's the bathroom. Yeah. What's up, Nicolo? What's up, bro? Hey, Anthony. I'm gonna start with the cleaning the sinks and the mirrors. It looks like the floor, toilets, and bathtubs also need to be cleaned. Great. As cleaning supplies, we can use at the end of the stalls. Let's get this stupid punishment over with. Okay. Um, yeah, man. Okay. Oh, alright. Let's uh, clean the bathtubs. There we go. Nice and clean. There we go. Nice and clean. Brilliant. Rinse the tub as well. Okay, okay. Ooh, looking fresh. Okay, you know what? We're actually doing work, man. We're actually we're actually doing bits for this place. The bath tubs are looking so much cleaner. Thanks to thanks to me and Nicolo over here. Done. Now I should grab the broom to clean the floor. I got the broom. Let's clean the floor a bit. There we go. Sweepy sweep. Over here, sweepy sweep, two more. Sweepy sweep, and one more here. Sweepy sweep. Good stuff. Now I need the toilet brush and soap to clean the toilets. Alright, I'll grab that stuff. Okay, so we've got one over here. Add soap, scrub toilet. Okay, okay. Boom. Another one. Boom. Where, why are we just doing chores, man? Like, nothing is happening. Okay. Boom. And oh. Uh This last stall is all that's left. But it's locked. Hey, is someone in there? Oh my god oh no, don't do this to me, man. We're not gonna like be chased, right? Hello? Okay. Yo. Ahoy. This here store's occupied. Who are ye? Oops, we didn't know someone was in here. We're killing it. <coughs> oh god, hold on. I need a. I need to take a. Take a drink, man. God damn. Uh, hopefully that should be better. We're cleaning in here, and the toilet is the last thing on our list. This guy actually sounds menacing, man. Alec, I see. I haven't seen you before. What's your name? Me name's Marco. They kind of, all the voices just kind of blend into one, don't they? And my name's Pete Gustavo. We just arrived here this morning, you see. <laughs> Excuse me, that's what I'm going with. I'm sorry that I delayed your cleaning. I came in here to be alone as well. I'm, I'm really upset. My mom tricked me. She said we'd be going on vacation together, but she just abandoned me here instead. Now see here, you bill rats. I've been trying to clear PT, uh, chip, uh, pff, I've been trying to chip PT up, and you just made him cry again. <laughs> You've already forgotten. Uh, no, Marco, it's it's okay. It's it's not their fault. Mom did this to us, and I'm not crying. Anyway, I'm real sorry for, why, for about all this. What are your names? 
I'm Nicolo, and this is Anthony. Nice to meet you, Pete. Nice to meet you too. I hope we can be friends. Like, well, I'm glad there are nice people here. That's where you're mistaken. I'm not nice. <laughs> this guy sounds crazy, man. Don't act cool, Niccolo. We're scrubbing toilets. Wait a second. <laughs> I just realized you guys can see Marco too. It would be hard not to notice him when he's yelling at us. Lots of us have been imaginary friends, except for Anthony, but he can still see ours somehow. That is true, I've realized that. That's like we don't have one, but we can see the we can see all these guys. I guess that's what they mean by we're like a special case. But I don't I don't know if the the nurses don't like the nurses and the doctors don't know about the imaginary friends, right? They know we have like schizophrenia, I'm pretty sure. But I don't know if they know about like the actual. I don't think they've seen or heard the imaginary friends. Oi, what did you just say? Marco, quit being embarrassing, will ya? Anyway, I guess I'll leave you guys down so I can actually clean the toilet. By the way, the poop stains right for me. Those are already here when I got here. Just wanted to clarify that. That was definitely you, mate. Yep, yeah, um, look at you. You're a wee little tabby bastard. Oh, of course it was you. What a little weirdo. I like him. Anyway, let's finish up here. Oh, okay. Last one. Time to clean the last toilet. Now I'm extra su suspicious. The poop stains are from that kid. Oh, boy. He's been he's been going crazy in this toilet, man. Some kind of diarrhea. Jesus. Hey. Oh, it's all good, right? It's all good. Yeah, we've scrubbed everything. We've done it all. You kids actually cleaned up well in here. I suppose you've earned a lunch today. Run along now. It's time to begin our daily schedule. This place doesn't revolve around you two. February 22nd, 1949. 9am. Okay. Well, that was atrocious. See you later. That was atrocious, wasn't it? I need to get my treatment. The treatment room is up here, so that sounds good to me. Just here? Okay. Oh, they're all in here. Look who it is. Oh, just the boy I wanted to see. My boy, you look as though you've seen a ghost. Lighten up, chapo. Breaks into laughter. Ho, 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 If I may, Dr. Frigg, I believe you're making our patient here a little uncomfortable. Oh, Boris, you always assume the worst of everything. We're just having a bit of fun. Aren't we, Anthony? <laughs> Get your fucking hands off me, mate. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna blank you. But I suppose you're right. When I was a mere boy, I too afraid was afraid of the doctor. When you're a child, you should be afraid of doctors. Ahem. We ought to stick to the schedule, Doctor. Indeed. Anthony, my boy, I just wanted to observe you as they perform the treatment today. Carry on, ladies. Pretend I'm not even here. Fine. Lay down, Anthony. Okay. Okay. Hey. Now give me your arm. Yes, give her your arm, Anthony. Okay, you don't have to say that. You don't have to say that. Okay, thank, thank you for allowing me to add my new ingredient to his treatment to nurse What? Um... New ingredient. What does that mean? What has he added? <laughs> what? Damn! What has he added, bro? What has he added? Me likey! Hey, yo! I probably shouldn't be saying that. It's actually really dull. Uh, uh. What? <laughs> Why are they all just like yeah, having a fucking blast, man? What's going on? Jesus, man. Oh, I've got some staircases. Lovely. What has he just injected into me? What has he actually done? Oh. 
Edward, Edward! Edward, man! What's going on? His imaginary friend is going insane! Edward, Edward! Yo, brother! Oh my god! Uh, it's just a big old, big old drop. What the hell? Maybe I don't like this. I don't... Oh god. Oh, staff only. You're going to die. Um, just a tightrope. Doors. Oh no. L let me go. Let me go. Huh? What is happening over here? It's spooky. Um, um. Wait, that's the shed. Hey. Huh? Oh my, oh my god, no. This is like everything that's happened so far! This is like everything that's happened. What is going on? This door right here. Um. Who's this? What are they doing? They're like in a little bloodbath. What is happening? I'm so confused. Oh, it's like filling up with water. What is this? What is... What is this medicine that he's put into me? When will this end? Oh my god. Who's that? It's Polo. What's happened? Who's who's dead? That's not a Niccolo, is it? I tried to warn you. Okay. Oh, this is trippy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And here we are, Hathmore Asylum. Ah! Oh! Um. Die. No, 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 no. No. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is, this? What is happening right now? Oh, oh, oh my god, my Roblox obby skills are coming to use. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh, Roblox obby. Dude, is he chasing me? Oh, he's back. Oh, I saw his little silhouette. Oh my god. 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 Axes? Axes? Really? I have to avoid the axes? Oh my god. Okay, go. Go, man. Go. Let me on. Let me on. Let me on. Let me out. Let me out of here. 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 Where is he? I hear him. 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 Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Dude, why? Why is this kind of difficult though? Why is this kind of hard? Jump! 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 Okay, go! 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 Where is he? I don't see him. I think I've lost him. I think I've lost him. I think I'm, I've, I've done it. Right, right. Come on, this is this can't last forever, right? Oh, what's this? What's this? Jump. Um. Oh god. Oh no, it's ending. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I just. I have to jump. I have to jump. Annabelle? Annabelle? Hi 
Anthony. Anthony, wake up! Wake up! Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. What was that sequence? February 22nd, 1949. 2pm. Oh, Boris. Oh, Mr. Rivers, you're awake! Was that really all a dream? It felt so real. I'm really sure you're wondering as to why you're in my office. Uh, while you were asleep, you started burning up with a fever. I am so confused. What's happening? Dr. Frake was convinced that a fever would uh, burn your mental illness, so to speak. He thought it would cure you. Mr. Rivers, he's, uh, he's begun to poison you. Is he trying to kill me? I understand. I, I tried everything I could to persuade him to stop his experiments, but he, he won't listen to me. His position is above mine, so there's nothing I can do. But I don't believe in his methods. If this continues, if, if I may be blunt, I think you'll die, Mr. Rivers. What? What should I do? Listen, there's, there's truly nothing I can do, because they have their eyes on me. The, the month supply of the injection they are giving you is in the surgery room, and it has your name on it. Suppose you were to sneak out at night and replace it with water. I don't believe that nurses would notice. You must pretend to sleep once they give it to you. You didn't hear it from me, okay? But I really can't stand to see Dr. Fig do this to a patient. Oh my god, my guy Boris, man. Our best, best guy ever. I'm sorry I gave you that voice, okay? I understand. I'll keep it a secret. I'll say, I'll, I'll say thank you. Oh, and uh, I was able to convince the teacher to allow you to skip lessons today. Please go back to your room and rest well before nightfall. Good luck, Mr. Rivers. I really appreciate your help, sir. Of course, if there's anything you need, come to me and I'll do my best. Oh my god, man. I, I still don't feel well. I should go to bed and rest like Boris said. That, that was crazy, man. That was kind of crazy. Okay. Maybe I am going insane. I think I might go... In. Guys, once I'm done with this video, I think I might go insane. I think I might just do that. I opened the door and made my way to my bed. Nobody else was in the room. They had already gone to class. I laid down and looked up at the ceiling. I thought to myself that I would do anything to change my sordid fate. And that I would make it home alive. I closed my eyes and sleep took over me. Anthony Rivers February 22nd, 1949. This is the evening now. Time to switch the medicine. I should have grabbed the candle behind my bed first. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Here we go. Edward and Twisty are still in the punishment cell. Maybe I can check on them while I sneak out tonight. Check on them? I could check on them. Anthony, are you okay? What happened? Dr. Fig added poison to my treatment. He poisoned you? Yes, then Boris took me to his office to recover. So that's why we didn't see you all day. Boris said the poison might kill me. I'm so sorry that happened. This is bad, Anthony. What are we going to do? Boris told me to swap the poison with water. I see. So Boris actually really helped you. I'm glad he's on your side. I, I'll go with you, Anthony. It's... I, I couldn't risk you getting into trouble for me, man. Niccolo, what a guy. He's like our best friend. 
Hey, don't worry about it. I told you before, didn't I? My family's never even visited me. I'll be stuck here forever anyway. Besides, I can be a distraction in the case the nurses find us. You have to switch the medicine. You know what will happen if you don't. I don't know what to say, man. Anytime, anyway, I guess we should head out. While we're out, should we check on Edward? If we can, then I'd like us to as well. I'm worried about him and Twisty. Those nurses are evil incarnate for keeping them in there over some dirty water. I agree. Well then, shall we head out? Let's do it, man. Let's hurry. Our punishment will be horrific if we get caught again. Do you even know where they keep your treatment? Boris said it's in the operating room upstairs. Alright, lead the way. There aren't any nurses out here this time. What's going on? What is going on? That is weird. There's usually like the nurses are like patrolling, right? That's just what happens. Okay, let's uh, we're at the surgery. This is it, Anthony. I stay out here and yell if the nurses show up. It should give you enough time to get the job done. Thanks for your help, Niccolo. He's a real one, man. Don't mention it. Now get in there and find that treatment. I'm on it. I'll do it. Okay. Boris said to look for a container with my name on it. Okay, so where would that be? Where would, where would, where would that be? Container with my name on it. Anthony Rivers. Anthony Rivers. Ah. Why is mine the only one in here? Pick up. Okay, I've got it, I've got it. Now I'll take to this to the bathroom to get rid of it. Okay. Yo, Nicola. Found it. Yeah, I'm going to the bathroom to get rid of it. Good. Be quick. We don't have much time. Okay. Uh, to the bathroom I go. Oh, this is gonna be. Oh God. I hate. Oh. I hate this man. It's so dark out here. This isn't right. This is the bar. Oh, that's the punishment cell. This is the bathroom. Yeah, we're going here, yeah. I, oh, I need to pour this down the sink. Yeah, look, look, this one. Place container, and then fill container. Okay, all good. Take container. This should be good. I'll put this back now. Yeah, 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 let's go, let's go. Alright, Niccolo, you still there, bro? Okay, cool, cool. Oh, good. Why is there, like... What is this ambience? I hear, like, talking. That's weird. Did you do it? Yes. Nice work. Now put it in there so we can get moving. I would love to get moving, man. Yeah, let's just put it back. Let's put it back now. Place container. All good. Let's go, Niccolo. Hopefully that's the end of that. That being said, I guess we should check on Edward and Twisty now. They should be in the punishment cell at the end of the hall. Let's make the visit brief. Something definitely doesn't feel right. Oh boy, at the end of the hall? Yeah, man. Oh, oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's the ghost! What is he doing here? Where's he going? What's he doing? Niccolo, where- Niccolo, Niccolo, where'd you go, bro? Does he want us to follow him down the stairs? Haha, <laughs> did you see the look on his face or before that moldy bread down his throat? How could I miss it? He was practically sobbing trying to- They were shoving moldy bread down his throat, man? I guess we just let him out tomorrow so he doesn't die in there, though. The little pig deserves it. It's so much work tending to their useless lives. Why do we bother when they're already out of their minds? I, ha I hate these nurses, man. How dare they? The only ones with useless lives here are them. I don't know what the ghost is doing here, but I'm glad he stopped us before we got caught. It seems like he wants us to go down those stairs. Hey, is he trying to help us, bro? Like, what's going on? It's like he's, a. Uh... He warned us from the nurses. I think we should do it. 
I don't trust him, but he did stop us from getting caught by those nurses. I'll follow your lead. Yeah, okay. Yo, brother. Hey. Oh, he doesn't have anything to say to me. Oh, it's the nurses. Yo, what do we do? I'm going to take a trip to the powder room. I'll be back, Dolores. Don't leave me alone for too long, Agnes. It's awfully chilling here at night. Oh, brother. Brother! Brother! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! <laughs> Yes! Wait, no, that's not good, that's not good! <laughs> Run for your life, Anthony! We have to get out of here! <laughs> <coughs> what the hell, man? Oh my god, back to the room, back to the room, back to the room. Dude, he just killed a nurse, bro. He just killed a nurse. Get into bed fast! They'll think we did it if they catch us awake! Pretend to sleep, Anthony, like your life depends on it! Oh my god. Wait, no, because they're gonna they're gonna blame that on us. All of you with me now Oh my god. <laughs> this isn't this is, what What is happening? Oh damn, those are the those are the other guys. That bastard child Edward It's him he cursed us Come on now, Agno! Uh, what was it? Boris, man! Boris! I need to get into the Boris... the Boris mood. Come on now, Agnes! It, I know how tragic this is, but Edward can't be blamed! He's been locked away! There's no way he could have done this! Don't be so sure, Boris! Every child here is a suspect! I've called the police station! They are on their way! Mark my words, there will be investigations held to catch the murderer of our dear Dolores. Whichever one of you kids is responsible, know that you will pay a deep price for this. Wait, it wasn't any of us, sir. We were all asleep. Excuse me, who do you think you are speaking to with that tone? Anthony's right, sir. You called us here by yourself. The nurses saw us sleeping. Making excuses at a time like this, I've had it with you, demon children. Out of my way. Oh, you fucking brick. Better not fucking do that. Annabelle, no. I've obviously been too lenient with all of you. I'll be back here when the police arrive. Prepare for a much stricter schedule from now on. Dude! What the hell, man? The ghost has fucked us over. Annabelle. Annabelle, are you hurt? Don't worry, I'm okay. What about you? I'm okay too. I'm glad we're both okay. Thanks for checking on me. Shut your mouths. If there will be no talking between the boys and girls, you may all return to your rooms for the night. Rest assured that none of you will be let off easy for this atrocity that has occurred here tonight. Oh, fuck that, man. I, I can't take this anymore. Why are you mama bam I hear? Oh, I just, yeah, whatever. Please make it stop. I'm sure it's gonna be okay, Tommy. I promise I'm here for you. Ah! I hate this, I hate this, I hate this! It's better be good or I swear there's going to be a second murder tonight! It's just me! Don't worry! Edward! Yes! My guy! Oh. Are you okay? Toby was so worried! Agrees. <laughs> Same here, man. Thanks, kid. It was rough in there. I'm glad to be out, but it looks like all hell broke loose while I was gone. 
Yeah, not a pretty scene to come back to. We're all pretty shaken up right now. It messed me up seeing that dead bud, too. Even I got chill seeing it. It's been a really tough time for all of us lately, but on the bright side, at least we made a new friend. Oh, yeah. Hi, Edward. I'm Pete. I heard lots of great things about you. And me name is Marco. I'm Petey's imaginary friend, you see. It's nice to meet you guys. Though obviously the circumstances are rather grim. Nicola and I have something to tell you guys. Oh, about the ghost? Dude, no way. You guys killed the nurse? No, but we know who did. Yeah, why would we do that? We're not actually insane, despite the fact that we're here. Then who was it? It was the ghost of the asylum. The ghost? Are you sure? We saw it with our own two eyes. Long story short, Anthony and I snuck out early and planned to check on you and Twisty. But the ghost murdered the nurse while we were on our way there. I'll never forget what we saw tonight. You snuck out. I'm glad you weren't caught. I thought I was really scary seeing the nurse dead. I can't imagine watching her being murdered like that. Yeah, and it was one of the most messed up things I've ever seen. Even more, uh, even more troubling yet is the fact there's a murder on the loose in this very building. There's no telling what he might do next. That's what I'm worrying about too. I want to find a way to stop him. I'll let you know if I learn anything, but be careful. You know as well as I do how dangerous the ghost can be now. I appreciate it. Anyway, we should try to rest for what tomorrow will bring. I'm sure the nurses will be banging down our door as soon as the police arrive. Oh, damn. Wow. Oh, and there they are. Get out of your beds and get ready for the day. The police are here and will be ready to see you soon. Are they planning to interrogate us? I should head to the bathroom to get ready. Here I go, to the bathroom. Oh man, what, what an eventful night, man. Here I go, time to wash up, comb my hair. Lovely. Look at me, look at me, how am I still in one piece after all of this, man? Brush my teeth. And wash my face. Good shit, man. Good shit. I don't know how we do it. Hey. Hey, I'm sure you already know, but as far as anyone's concerned, we were asleep last night until the nurse woke us up. I won't tell anyone what we did last night. That's for the best. If they hear either of us snuck out, they throw us in the jail with no trial. You know how it is here. You can count on me. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna leave it there, to be honest. I've been recording for an hour and almost 30 minutes. I'm gonna split this game up into two parts. This was crazy, man. We, we've we encountered the ghost of the asylum. And we have also, we had that little run, like that little Roblox obby, where you had to like jump from little platform to platform. That was, um. I thought I was gonna die there, man, but you know, what can I say? I am, I'm an absolute pro. And also, the biggest part, yeah, a nurse has been murdered by the ghost. And now we have to defend ourselves from the police. Um, so that will happen next episode. This has been a really interesting episode. It's been, it's been crazy to see how these poor kids are getting treated by these nurses. Like they. They don't really deserve it, man. And just to just to think that this happened, this sort of thing happened, maybe about just a hundred years ago, is just crazy. Especially because we know that these kids haven't done anything wrong. They 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 didn't expect to be sent here by their parents. It was probably a big shock to them. So you know, I feel bad. But yeah, 
I, I kind of these these imaginary friends are kind of cool though. It's like it's it's cool that they've sort of made up their own little guardian to protect them from I don't know from going insane. I guess I th we're in, we're in an asylum and it's like the one thing that you would be accused of going insane of. You'd be accused if you said you had an imaginary friend, as someone that wasn't real beside you. You'd be accused of like being insane. But it's like in here. These guys are the ones that are stopping these poor children from going insane. Because it's not really... It's the nurses that are making these kids go insane. It's the asylum itself. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, then please let me know by dropping a little like down there. If you want to see more Imaginary Friend Asylum, let me know down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.